swaffles. With extra, I'm sorry, with. And I would never intentionally play with your feeling strawberries. My food usually only says, eat me. Well, your mom and Chad called them little puffs of heaven. And they were made by such an angel. Are we going to talk about what that little smoochy smooch was all about last night? Oh, you mean that thing that never happened? Okay. You've driven here twice this week. And for what? To cook a couple meals? Well, it seems kind of strange. Even for you. Okay, Veronica Mars, I miss home. <sighs> okay, what's in these waffles? Nothing. I'm just... I'm happy and I have a plan. Is tonight still karaoke night? Uh-huh. Well, then round up the troops. I have a feeling I'll need to celebrate. I knew I wasn't the only reason you came back. Do I even get a hint? I don't change my mind for anybody. I won't waste my time on just anybody. And I won't share my life with anyone but you. With anyone but you. With anyone but you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late at Pinchy Boots. Keep it slow. Oh, it's like Spinner. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> so Alex says you're back in town to celebrate. Yeah, so what's the amazing news? Um, well, yours truly just got a huge scholarship to Toronto U. I'm moving home. In the middle of a semester? Yeah, they made an exception. So are we going to do this or not? You bet. <laughs> Busted, Maestro. I don't change my mind for anybody. I won't waste my time. Not for anybody. I won't share my life with anyone but you. So when are you going to tell me why you really left Banting? I already told you. Yeah. Big mid-semester scholarship. Thing is, you already had one. Banting is not what I expected. I mean, I'm kicking butt, but it's so lame. There's no fun times like tonight, and definitely no fun people. That's it? Banting was great for my mom, but I have connections here. Connections? By that you mean? My friends, people who think I count for something, like cool people. Oh, my pinchy boots. Um, there should be paper towels in here somewhere. My dad went all Boy Scout when I got the car. Did you find anything? Yeah. I sure did. Two bedroom on the subway line. A hundred, ouch. Two bedroom? Isn't it time you gave your mom and Chad their personal space? Honey, waiting for someone? Maybe. Who, Carla? Look, if we move in together, it doesn't mean. Mom? Hi. What are you doing here? We need to talk, Paige. You have some explaining to do. What's going on? Alex found some essays, some tests in your car. You did this? I'll let you guys talk. you told my mother. Who else would I tell? Uh, I don't know nobody. You need help, Paige. And you need to tell the truth to someone. It was the only way to force it out. Well, why didn't you talk to me first? Paige, you've been lying to me ever since you got here. And I have no idea why.
I've always kind of felt like you looked up to me. And I want you to be proud of me, but the truth is I'm just a, a loser. And you used me to pull some big crazy scam? I'm sorry, Alex. I didn't know who else to turn to. Next time you need a safety net, call the fire department. Actually, they'll probably be calling me. I kind of burned down my dorm room. Seriously? <laughs> wow. When you flame out, you really flame out. What am I gonna do? That's the thing, Missy. What do you want to do? So you're moving in, eh? A funky downtown address to go with my hopefully new job. Ching ching. So where is the lovely Carla tonight? Battery class. Yeah, my girlfriend ditched me to make a bowl. Well, at least you have somebody. I, however, have been walking through a romantic desert, and my feet are tired. <laughs> well, don't look at me to rub them. But I'm sure we could find a hot guy or two to warm up your cool autumn nights. Well, cheers to that, dear Cupid. So I hope you're ready. Today's the first episode of Project Pitch. My life is a reality TV show. In your case, it's The Bachelorette. And we're looking for guys, hey? Not the other flavor. Guys will do, thank you. I like them cute, funny, worldly. Oh, and to fill out a vintage rock tee, just so. Sounds delish. In a hetero kind of way. Thing is, Paigey, you gotta keep it cash. Don't get attached to anyone. Play the field, be a pimp. Oh, I am the maddest of pimps. And here comes my date. Spinner, cute, funny, worldly. Lose the lesbian filter, hun. He is cute and funny. It's two out of three. Give my best, to dear Carla. <laughs> you said that without laughing? The moment overtook. It just felt so good to mack on Spinner with impunity. Bruh, great. I have class with him in 20 minutes. I'll try to ignore his big, dumb, grinning face. <laughs> Jesse, hey. Hey. Uh, latest edition, ads on page three. And I asked Nina to write a piece on you guys for a fashion column. This is... Wow. Uh, thank you so much. The core and Squatch designs could have a future together. In business. Alex. Um, you know Jesse, right? Yeah, you're Ellie's boyfriend. Was. Ellie didn't tell you we broke up? She keeps to herself a lot. Yeah, she's like that. Well, I gotta run, interviewing a friend's band. How journalist of you. What are they like? Kind of an alt-country vibe. Yeah, they're playing tonight, Campus Club. If you're into it, you should come. Thank you. Tell me again why you need me to model at the dumb fair. Because Marco looks lousy in pink. So, uh, you and Jesse dancing up a storm last night. 